I didn't want this video to be super duper short, so I had to end the last one before we did this. So we can watch the final cut scene and the credits and we can talk about stuff that I've been wanting to talk about. They remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late for making shots in our clockwork. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate ship. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So, I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, a fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out currently this voice. So that's it. We did it. Anyway. After this, I'm going to go to slide three. I'll probably start that tomorrow. Hopefully my Wi-Fi doesn't die again. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for Slide 2. I'm not sure when I'll do the Assassin's Creed thing, but after I finish the last Sly Cooper that I have to play, and 
go back to Uncharted. I think I'm gonna, I might do uh, Assassin's Creed then. I, I let one of my friends have my, or borrow my Assassin's Creed game. Well, I dropped my controller. I let one of my friends borrow one of my, the first Assassin's Creed game a while ago, and I haven't got it back yet, so I have to wait until he gives me that back to start that. But. So if I don't have Assassin's if I don't have Assassin's Creed after I finish Uncharted, I'm just gonna have to do Mortal Kombat or Injustice. Probably Injustice. So yeah, that's the end of slide two. She continues. Carmelita Fox continues her search for Sly Cooper. Blah blah. I didn't get to read it. Dimitri, Dimitri went to work on a cruise ship. Um, Rajan owns a series of rug outlets across North America. How did he grow that hair? Contessa went on to become the most successful real estate broker in the greater Milwaukee area. John Basson went to work for the EPA and ended up frozen yet again on a mission rescuing baby penguins. to watch the rest of this. So. You've seen everything you want. Go outside. You heard the game. Go outside. So, okay. D2443 signing off. Signing out. Whatever. Out.